Hi guys. So today I'm going to tell you a story. Steven. Okay, so this story happened in the wintertime up in the White Mountains of Arizona. He took me up to this house cabin thing. Um, he had been up for about seven days. Um, he cannot handle his methamphetamines, especially when he didn't mix it with heroin. I, uh, I tend to stay away from the methamphetamine as much as I can. Um, I was up for a few days too. Um, I was coming down. I hated the methamphetamines. Um, this house cabin was a friend of his and, um, It was freezing. I remember being so cold that I thought I was going to die of it, freezing to death while he's in a corner sweating bullets because he's been up and talking to Theodore. And I was just like, okay, because they had a fireplace. They didn't have heat. They just had a fireplace. And so I went outside and I'm looking frantically in the snow for any kind of wood that I could use in this fireplace. Literally, I'm out there digging in snow. I found a little bit of shit that I could burn, boxes, anything to, to stay warm. And then I had to try and start all this stuff on fire without kindling. And um, I, I remember I used um, paper plates and uh, uh, coffee filters. I'm sorry, I had a moment there. Coffee filters, anything I could find, really, toilet paper. I, I was desperate. I was freezing, and I was starving. And I would beg him, Stephen, let's go get a pizza, or let's go to the store. And then I went to the bathroom. Wait, I'm going to go back for a minute. I was hungry, so in this refrigerator, these people had food, and I was so hungry. And I'm trying to convince Stephen to eat so that he could lay down and mumble to Theodore, his altered ego, to go to sleep. So, I cooked up random shit. There was no milk. They had cereal, so I had dry cereal. Um... They had, I remember, they had lunch meat and um, raviolis. Just random shit that we would eat. I don't know how he got in this house. I don't know why he went to this house. They weren't home. It was weird. It's like we snuck in and used the facilities and then snuck out. So I'm cooking this and that. And, uh, I, I go to the bathroom and I started my period and I look all around and there's nothing, no pads, no tampons, no anything, nothing. So I'm like, Theodore, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm like, Steven, I started my period. Can we please go to the Texaco and then stop and get a pizza and then we can come back. Finally, he says, okay. And then I'm like, and then we can stop and, get, you know, do something and go back and do whatever. So we get to the Texaco. We call in the pizza. Because pizza's 
like right there where we go to pick up large quantities. And so I go, he's all, let's stop in the bathroom. So we stopped in the bathroom. We did our shit. So we did a big fat shot. And uh, got back in the car. Got my tampons from the store. Got back in the car. We were going to drive to the pizza. And then while the pizza is making, we went and got the stuff, the large quantity. And then on the way back to get the pizza, whoop, 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 we got a cop behind us with the canine. So, Steven. pulls over, hands me the personal, and I put it in my pocket. Not my pocket. I put it in my waistband. It was in a, it was about three eight balls um, of meth and heroin. And, uh, um, we roll up the windows and we sh lock the doors and they're like, can you step out of your vehicle? And we just sat there, nope. <laughs> we need you to step out of your vehicle. Randy, you want to unlock your door? Nope. We're going to get the dog, and it's going to give us probable cause to take you out of there. Okay. So they went and got their dogs, and they immediately gave them probable cause. And so they quickly became assholes. And got us out of the car, basically. Um, they took me and threw me against the car, you know, flat, and uh, handcuffed me and put me on the ground to sit in the snow. It's cold. And I haven't put my tampon on. <laughs> I'm like, so can you let me get my tampons and maybe go to the store and, nope. I said, I just started my period. That's why we were at the store. I need to put a tampon on. Nope. Wait till you get to the police station. It's going to be messy. <laughs> so, so what? Um... So, um, I was scared that the dog was going to sniff me because I had that in my waistband and uh, it didn't, thank God, because they put it back in the car. And so we get to the police station waiting for transport and I ask them again. I said, I stopped at the store to get tampons because I started my period. It's getting messy. Can I please have a tampon? And can I use your bathroom? And so they give me a tampon. And they point to the bathroom. And so I go. And of course, you know, I flush the tampon. And I put the stuff up there. And then, um, come out. Okay, thank you. And so, um, that stayed there until I got processed, and then I, um, and when I, when I needed it t t 
to do me justice. Came out. And I got, you know, tried to get rid of it as fast as I could in there. But you gave me chocolate because I'm going to detox and stuff like that. And then, um, and then, uh, I got to give a whole bunch of it for stuff. And then, then I went to the hole because I was, um, I was detoxing hardcore and, um, uh, yeah. And then all of a sudden after it was, I, I got rid of it, fleshed a lot of it. It was pretty bloody too. He did it bloody. Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh, they got wind of it and brought a dog to my cell, but I had already gotten rid of it all. And so they didn't find anything. Um, so that's my story. And that jail, that jail trip, I got clean and for a little bit I was doing good. And then they sent me, they sentenced me to, they sentenced me to, um, 18 months in lockdown facility rehab. It's extensive rehab. And so, here I am. Back again. <laughs> That's all I have today. Bye.